This is part three of Traveling the Rivers, taking you from Green Turtle Marina in Grand Rivers, Kentucky, to Joe Wheeler State Park in Rogersville, Alabama. This is Freebird, and we are Ed and Maureen. We hope you will enjoy following us as we travel on the Great Loop. Green Turtle Bay is a great stop on your loop. We stayed there on the way up and on the way down from Michigan. And um, we've got a photo here of the transient docks that you're usually in. On the way back down the river, it was in the fall with a lot of other boat traffic. And we actually were put into a covered slip, which was pretty nice to get out of the sun for a few days. Uh, we really recommend this. They have golf carts you can rent and drive into town. It's a nice resort atmosphere there with pools you can use. Really an enjoyable stop. Just as you come out of the Barclay Lock, on the right hand side is a really nice cove with a great place to anchor. If you have a dinghy, you can take it down and go into a little bar and restaurant that's part of the Green Turtle Resort, right there called the Thirsty Turtle. When you leave Green Turtle, heading up the Tennessee River, you're actually heading south, we're gonna give you three options to stop at, depending upon how far you wanna go your first day. The closest option is Ken Lake Marina, and there's also a very nice cove right around the corner. That's where we stayed, and we put the dinghy in and went into Ken Lake Marina. They have a nice ship store, as well as a great restaurant. It's actually a floating restaurant on the barge. They just had awesome breakfasts. We went there a couple mornings. Your second choice is Paris Landing Marina, in Buchanan, Tennessee. It is 43 and a half miles from Green Turtle Marina. When we were there, they were completing the lodge and getting ready for the fall rendezvous of the AGLCA in 2022. As you leave Green Turtle Bay, if the weather's good and you'd like to put in a longer day, you can do a 65-mile run to Richland Creek Anchorage. We found the Richland Creek Anchorage to be plenty deep with good holding and out of the channel, so you're plenty safe. Caught a nice sunset while we were there, too. If you decided to stop at Paris Landing, there is another anchorage. We have not stayed here, but we have heard from other loopers it's a great place to stop. It's called Rockport Landing and it's around 41 miles from Paris Landing. Whether you decided to stay at Richland Creek Anchorage or Rockport Anchorage, your next stop will be Clifton Marina. We really enjoyed the beautiful scenery along the river. We enjoyed also seeing how people chose to live whether they had a home built or they just put a barn up so they could bring their camper and come and go. When you arrive at Clifton, you'll find a well-protected, nice little marina. They have a floating restaurant uh, that has both indoor and outdoor seating, and the food was surprisingly good. We used their courtesy car to run into town to get a few supplies. Uh, they also have gas and diesel and pump-out service available at the marina.
From Clifton Marina, our next stop was Grand Harbor Marina in Counts, Tennessee. It is about 54 miles. We were given a nice covered slip with table and chairs and offered a courtesy car to take into town. Another good optional stop in this area is Safe Harbor Marine. They're well known for the good service they do. They have a lift, provide a courtesy car when we had oil done here. We stayed on the outside wall and in the morning uh, we awoke to a lot of fog and a fishing tournament. There are several good anchorages in the area. Our favorite is Zippy Cove. The cove goes way back in so you can be very private and it's completely surrounded by nature. There's good holding, plenty of water, and a nice view out to the west. At this point, if you are staying on the traditional loop, then you would head south on the Tom Bigby Waterway. If you want to continue down the Tennessee River, Florence Harbor Marina would be your next stop. We think Florence Harbor is well worth the visit. There are so many things to do there. We stayed over a week when we went and then even came back again on our way back. We really enjoyed just sitting on the back of the boat watching all the fishing tournaments and watching the fishermen come in and come back and, and weigh their fish. Florence Marina provides you with a nice courtesy van and we were able to go and tour the dam and there's a beautiful walkway there and a waterfall. In the TV8, park on the Muscle Shoals side of the river is a nice scenic overlook of the dam and power plant and in the far distance you can see the pointed restaurant. It's actually a Marriott with a revolving restaurant. It's a great place to go for an excellent view of the entire area. My vote for the best burger in Florence is the River Bottom Grill which actually floats in the harbor. So if you don't feel like getting in the courtesy car you can walk right to the restaurant. Florence Harbor Marina to Joe Wheeler Marina is 22 miles and two locks. Joe Wheeler Park is usually where the AGLCA holds their fall rendezvous. This is what it looks like when you're entering to come in to Joe Wheeler State Park. They have a very nice lodge that you can have your meals in. We were there in the spring and uh, we were the only boat there, so it was a little lonely but I'm sure when you come in the fall, there'll be plenty of other boats. If you'd like to anchor, you can anchor a little bit past the marina near the golf course. Thank you for watching Freebird on the Great Loop. If you have any questions or you'd like to comment, we, are, we always enjoy reading your comments below. Have a wonderful day.